Midpoints and segment bisectors are uh, directly related. They, they kind of connect to each other in a number of different ways, but the main point or the main way they connect to each other is uh, based on what a midpoint is. The midpoint is actually exactly what it sounds like. It's the middle point. So if I have a line and I have two locations on that line identified, we'll call them A and B, then the midpoint of this segment AB is the point right in the middle. The midpoint would be C. And the midpoint is that middle point. Now the reason that's directly related to a segment bisector is that a segment bisector is the line that divides a given segment, line segment like AB, into two equal parts. So the segment bisector is the line that passes through the midpoint, and if it's a perpendicular bisector, which is very common, it passes through that midpoint at a 90 degree angle to the original line. So the segment bisector is the line that divides a segment into two equal parts. Okay, so now what we need to be able to do is identify a midpoint and a segment bisector on a line that's actually on, say, an XY graph. So let's take a point here. We'll draw a point here at uh, 0, 3, 4, and say 6, 0. So we have one at 0, 4, and one at 6, 0. And if we connect those two lines or two points together, then we have a segment. And what we're looking for is the middle point of that line somewhere along in here. Now the reason, or the way that makes this easier, the, the difficulty with this, I suppose, right away, is that these aren't all straight blocks. We can't just count the blocks, one, two, three, four, five, all the way down, because we're going diagonally across these, what would be these little squares if they were drawn in. But the middle point would also be the middle of the vertical change in distance and the middle of the horizontal change in distance. So if we just figure how far there is uh, how much vertical distance there is between these two points and how much horizontal distance there is between these two points, we can identify the location of that middle section. So if we say the vertical distance, vertical difference, and the horizontal difference, divided by 2, both divided by 2, that will give us the midpoint, right? Well, the vertical different difference here is just the y-coordinate, 4, subtracted one from the other. So if we take 4, the y-coordinate is 4 minus 0, well, that's 0, and then we divide, I'm sorry, is 4, <laughs> not 0, sorry about that, is 4, and we divide that by 2, like we said, we're going to divide each of them by 2 down here. We divide that 4 by 2, we get a y-coordinate of 2. Then our x-coordinate, we'll draw it over here, our x-coordinate would be the difference between 0 and 6. So 6 minus 0 is going to be 6. And we divide that by 2 and tells us our x-coordinate is 3. So for our midpoint, we go over 3, 1, 2, 3, and we go up 2, 1, 2. And so I was a pretty good guess right there. That midpoint is 3, 2. Now, you'll see this, this conceptually is pretty easy. The formula for it looks a little crazy, but now that you know what it is, you'll find that it's a, I think it makes a whole lot more sense. Basically, what you do is take your first x point and subtract your other x point and then divide it by 2, and that gives you your x coordinate. And then you take your first y point and subtract your second y point and divide it by 2, 
and it gives you the y coordinate. So then you have the x coordinate and the y coordinate of the midpoint. And that's all there is to it.